Hey folks, hey Roland Martin here. You know, I'm going to show you the ultimate in power fishing. Now, this is something I really like to do. I like to pitch and flip the heaviest cover in the lake. Now here we are, punching the mats. I've just rigged up a two ounce weight and a cowboy trailer by Yamamoto. And I'm just going to start pitching right into this matted stuff and drop, drop it down. Okay, it gets right down. It's six feet deep here. Lift it up once. Lift it up twice. I don't hit lift it up a lot of times. I just kind of do it just a little bit. And I'll go to these little areas right here by the boat. If you're real quiet, you can catch them right by the boat. Okay. Now I'm just going to back out of here. Run my trolling motor to real low speed. And uh, go right up this edge of, of Hydrilla. A lot of the fish are three or four feet back in there. Now, a lot of times these big fish bite it when it starts down. In other words, it's, it's just starting down. The descent is just starting down. So I'll drop it in right here, jig it down. Sometimes you have to kind of go up with it a little bit, like that. Huh. They're so thick I couldn't get through it. Some of it's so thick you can't get through it. There, it's down. It's down. You know, there's a term called flipping, okay? There's actually two things involved here. There's two things that I'm doing. One is pitching and the other is flipping. Now flipping, if you want to know what pit, pitching and flipping, there's a difference. When you flip, you pull your line like so, and I've got line right here, and I can go about 20, 25 feet, I flip it, flip, and that's, well, when I get it down there in that hole, That's flipping, okay? Get it down. Okay, put it, I anchor it down. That's why I have these big, big UG buttons here. Okay, so that's a flip. You pull it back this way, and you go about 20, 25 feet. Shake it a couple times, if they don't bite it, pull it back. Flip again. Okay, now that's flipping, that's flipping, flipping. Now I wanna, I wanna make the big distinction between flipping and pitching. Now pitching is what I'm gonna do now. Now, for a little bit farther away, I'm gonna hold the line here, and I'm gonna push the button here, and I'm gonna swing it way out there. Now I'm going 35 or 35 feet out, 40 feet out. Get it all the way down. So a lot of times, I'll flip and pitch. Now the advantage, here, here's the advantages of the two. When you pitch, you can go a lot farther, okay? Go a lot farther pitching. But you're making more racket because it's hitting the water harder. So that's that's an issue. When you're uh, when you're pitching, it's not as quiet. Now when you're flipping, look at this. When you're flipping, you can make it so soft. Look at this little hole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it in this little hole here. You won't even see a ripple. I can make it so, so easy. I can go like this and I can just, it just barely goes in. It just, no, no sound at all. And that's sneaking up on them, son. And that's sometimes what it takes. So it depends on what kind of noise level. You know, pitching and flipping are kind of both, we do the same technique, in both areas it's just that when you pull up like on a mat like this and, and, and you want to be real quiet and you got a lot of places to go you can flip a lot of this and you're close to the boat nice quiet retrieve quiet approach but you have both 
the advantages in both techniques is that you have a rock solid power. I got a rock solid connection here with the with this uh, with this uh, cushion here in my stomach. I got a really good grip on the rod. Now I have a really strong rod. And I can really bust them loose. Okay, so they both both the techniques are using the same tackle and it's the same heavy power fishing ta technique. Okay. There's one. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one now. I got one now. I got one out. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's what we're talking about. Now, that's what we're talking about, folks. That's what we're talking about. Big old beautiful bass. Flipping them up, son. This is kind of a small one. It's only like four pounds. Hey, they'll have to be a lot bigger than this. Woo, son. Okay. Let's get after them. Okay. It's something when you drop it in there, all of a sudden the line, instead of going down four or five feet like it's supposed to, only goes down about a foot. And that's what happened on that one. It just, the line just went down about a foot and stopped. And I said, that's not right. It's, it's a lot deeper than that. <laughs> and so you set the hook. And a lot of times they're just, they're just barely underneath. They're not very deep. They're not on the bottom. They're just underneath the roots of this floating stuff. So so it does sometimes they don't it doesn't float i mean it doesn't sink but it's just a little ways when he gets it oh yeah 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 i got him god i got him 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 somehow i got him I don't know how I got him, but I got him. I got him. He's in the grass. He's in the grass. He's in the grass. He's in the grass. Let's see how big he is. Let's see how big he is. Okay, he's in the grass. Okay. Okay, boys. I got him. I got him, son. I got him. Okay. He's not as big as I thought. What do you think? Hey, what do you think? Nice big three or four pounder. He's hit. You saw what I had to do to get him out. How in the world would you get him out with anything light? How You can't get these kind of fish out of this heavy, heavy cover without anything but this real heavy flipping tackle. Well, they're getting, me that's medium size. That's, that's not the real big ones yet. I'm telling you folks, these are, these are decent fish, don't get me wrong. We're liable to get a barn burner. We're liable to get a really big one. So let's get after him. Woo! I love this pitching and flipping. So I'm going to take this a cowboy, and this is a 136 color that I'm using right here. And a cowboy is kind of cool. What you can do, and what I was doing, is taking these little side things off. And I'll play with that. That's one thing I could do. But that's just that's just that's just me doing that. Not that that you could probably leave them on. Okay, I got a nice hook here. It's all snelled, ready to go. Go right through the head of it, like so. Pull it down and turn it, and I can super glue it or just leave it regular. And pull the the two little bobber stops down. One little bobber stop. Okay. Now, where I missed a fish was I was right in here, right there. I got him. <laughs> that's that's what it was. That's what it was. It was just a little one. It was just a little one. Hey, he was there though. <laughs> he was there, a little one like that. Not much to it. Oh well. That's what hit. That's what hit me. I felt the strike. Now you get a few small ones. 
you know you don't you don't always get all just monsters but that was a pretty good one it was in a good strike though so I'll come back through the head of the worm again pull it back into position and again I'll pull the little feet off I'll leave those two two there on just for the heck of it see what happens I don't think there'd be another fish there He took it hard. It's just as it hit the water, he, he, he took it. <laughs> Those little ones, they jump off. Oh, well. No, no big deal. <laughs> he hit that thing. It hit the it hit the water, and he took it right now. I mean, he was running with it. Little old two-pounder. <clears throat> it's a hard to hook. Like that. Okay. The wind feels good, and it's pushing me down the canal all right, so I can't complain. I don't think the storm's going to get us. I think it's, I think it's going to peter out. It looks like it's kind of going around us. But that's the thing about Florida. There's lots of storms. Although almost every afternoon, there's a storm over there. I see one over there. One, there's three or four storms around us, so I don't know if they're going to hit here or not. And the jig, the jig, here's the deal, the jigs are just as good as the, as the crawl worms, except the jigs won't go through this stuff. The, 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 these crawl worms and these other little creature baits and the punching weights will go through, the two ounce weights will go through it. it. The half ounce and three quarter ounce jigs that I use so much for flipping, they're all right for bull rushes and lily pads, but they're not, they're, they won't go through this stuff. It's, so you can't, you can't flip and pitch a jig and a jig combination in this heavy, 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 heavy. This is mat. This is mat. And you're talking about punching a mat. That's what this is called. Punching a mat. <laughs> We're punching mats. Punching mats. So on. Nice one. Right on that right on the tip of that thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> right on the tip of that point. Can't ask for a better, better, more accurate spot to throw. <laughs> you can bust him out of there. Nice pass though. Right on the very point. Right on the point. Try a little flip right in here. There. Go down. Now a lot of times I'll I'll drift into into this into the mat like this and I just work real all around it. Just back and forth and, and I'm just real quiet. And then sometimes you catch them right underneath the boat. Big one, 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 you saw what happened. I dropped back in there, and that big old six or seven pounder just ate it up right, right now, son. Well, you know, we caught some really nice bass today. But I've shown you a thing or two about how to flip and how to pitch and how to work this heavy cover. And you know, this is for this is the ultimate 
in big heavy uh, what I call it power fishing this is the ultimate test you catch more big fish with a big old flipping technique like this than just about any other way listen I hope I hope the uh, you guys and girls have learned a few things about pitching and flipping because I know it's it's one of my favorite techniques it works all year round hey so Hey, thanks for watching. I tell you, this YouTubing is so much fun. I just enjoy getting out here and doing my favorite thing, and that's bass fishing and bringing you information on bass fishing. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Hey, hit that likes button. Hit that likes button. Okay, boys.